Sex trafficking can be a 13-year-old girl being groomed for sex work by someone she met online who she thinks she can trust. An adult struggling with addiction who traffics their child for money. An immigrant whose documents are kept until debts are paid off through sex work in an illicit massage business. A young woman's boyfriend who manipulates her into selling her body. Sex trafficking is an exchange of sex for anything of value, such as money, food, and shelter, through the use of force, fraud, or coercion, or when the victim is a minor. Traffickers prey on the vulnerable. Poverty, child abuse, racial disparities, substance use, mental illness, developmental delays, gender and sexual minorities, or simply anyone looking for love or acceptance are all factors that increase a person's vulnerability. And this isn't something that's only happening in other countries. Thousands of people are trafficked in every community around the U.S. every day. Once victims are trafficked, they suffer immensely. One study in the United States says that 86% of women were subjected to physical violence, sexual assault, and other forms of violence while in the sex trade. Traffickers may use violence toward the victim and their loved ones. Abusers alternate between affection and violence to manipulate their victims into thinking they're loved and that it's their choice to stay. Victims find it hard to leave because they think this is love. Shame keeps them stuck and makes it difficult for them to receive help. If they do find the strength to leave, they struggle to find other opportunities. Studies show that over 90% of women engaged in the sex trade would leave if they thought they had another option. Each year, REST opens doors to other opportunities for hundreds of victims and survivors, offering pathways to freedom, safety, and hope. Everyone deserves to be loved. Everyone deserves a life free from exploitation.